We are often asked, why do you call this an experience and not a conference? Well, a conference is a gathering to talk or discuss a subject, but an experience is an encounter. An encounter with your heart and an encounter with the God who made it. God has called Reclaiming Hearts Ministries to create an environment where your heart can experience the breathtaking display of the love God has just for you. It's in the laughter, the beauty, the truth of His Word, the power of solitude and personal reflection, and in worship. It's also found in the refreshing that good food, new friends, extravagant hospitality, and a few days away to rest and play, disconnected from the tug of social media and the demands that schedules and responsibility can bring. The power of reclamation that can begin in those few days away can create an environment for profound growth and impact for individuals in marriages or those in ministry for generations to come. We've been married 30 years, June the 18th, uh, you know, 2018 was 30 years. And at the time that we came to the weekend, we probably were in one of our top three most challenging times of distance between us. So I certainly came believing that God would do something to break uh, whatever it was that the enemy had established that was keeping us apart. I didn't have a specific uh, definitive it needs what it needs to look like I just knew that we were hurting uh, yes. individually and and corporately as a husband and wife you know as, as most pastors would would share given the opportunity uh, because we put our pants on one leg at a time like everyone else and because we have our sin issues that we wrestle with uh, may be different than others but temptation and challenges nonetheless um, that there's, there's pressure and so that that pressure can come from finances, that pressure can come from um, uh, communication that's not effective, that pressure can come from intimacy that's not fulfilling, that, I mean it just there's nothing that goes on in this, this world that is uh, a part of everyone's life that ministers or preachers or pastors and their families don't have to deal with. We were trying to both work through some of these areas in our own way and it wound up being uh, something that was creating a wedge. I just remember uh, some very very dear close friends of ours uh, gave us a video to look at, asked us just to take a look at it and um, the wife had shared it with me and so I decided to look at the video and like my husband said, you know, we were just really going through just a tough time, you know, at that time in our marriage and I decided to put on the video and when I saw the video, I mean, I just was captured by uh, what they were sharing and the care that they seemed to have for the, the people that have come to these different um, segments um, and so, I just, my heartstrings were just pulled, and I was just like, okay, I don't know how we're gonna get there, but we gotta go. In keeping with ministry, there's, there's always a thousand things you can do, and you can do it 24 hours. And my wife is really good about giving me the liberty to be busy for God and, and it not come across as me forsaking her. At the same time, I have to know when to stop, when to, to have a balance in my schedule, when to tell, people in ministry or the church, I'm not available. Uh, to guard our quality time, my day off, uh, to make it sacred in that sense. And so by just choosing to go, it, it again, it, put, it took us away from the church, away from church people, away from the phone, and that by itself began to do some healing. And because of what God was doing through the weekend, and finding ways to steal away time on the weekends, or at least Sunday night, Monday, my day off, so that uh, what we need to, to reconnect and, and to get energized or have our batteries recharged, if you will, between us can, can take place. I would say I know 
uh, for myself, like you said, quality time is important because, you know, there's so many things to do at the church. And so, um, but at some point as husband and wife, you got to take some time aside and you owe it to yourself to, to, to pour into you because if you're giving all the time, at some point you need to be able to receive. And so this was an opportunity to be at Reclaiming Hearts for us to be able to come to a place where we're not around all those that we know and it's just me and him and God and it allowed both of us to let our guards down because we were amongst other pastors and their wives and better understanding as him being a senior pastor and being a fir you know first lady pastor's wife however people like to title that uh, it allowed us to be amongst others that we all understood where everybody was coming from and for me that was very refreshing so we take them weary and create opportunity to rest. We take them lonely and bring them into community with others just like them. We take them discouraged and bring them into the presence of the Lord who alone renews, restores, refreshes, and reclaims. We remind them why they matter and why they do what they are called to do. And when we touch that pastor and their spouse, we touch every member of their congregation. In fact, we could very well be touching 